Okay, hi, this is Greg, and I'm making this video because a few days ago, I posted on my Facebook and Instagram this photo. This one, or this one. I'll post it here. And I got messages from friends asking me how I made it. I'm gonna show you today how to make your DIY face shield using common office supplies. So first thing we need is a plastic sheet. This is an overhead projector transparency or acetate okay, that I have. This is kind of thicker okay, because this is the one that I use to cover reports. Okay, so this is thicker. So get the thickest possible sheet that you have because the thicker it is, the more resistant to the breeze or wind it will be when it becomes your face shield. And then, you'll also need these things, double clips, okay? So for my initial design, I only used two, right? So basically that's it okay so for for this video I'm gonna use this sheet of paper so you can see what I do because it's gonna be hard to see if it's transparent like this one so you get your sheet of paper and you draw an outline like this So I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I just eyeball this one. And then make this line here and this line here and this one this one and this one so So that's it so we're gonna cut this out if you're cutting a thick piece of transparent sheet you may want to use your shears or heavy gauge scissors or just uh, your regular scissors so we're gonna cut here and cut this arch Right. So, you see that arch that we just cut, that's actually the shape of the brim of your cap. So each cap's brim is different, so you just uh, get your cap and you trace the edge on your sheet. So, the next cut you'll make are these two here. And you need to cut out these two slits. These slits will be the same width as your double clips. Sorry, somebody bumped the the camera. <laughs> I'm with the kids. So, okay, say hello. hello. <laughs> okay. So we're all on quarantine here. All right. So you cut holes along this slit. Okay, I'm taking care not to cut through my table, but if you have a cutting board, 
use that okay so you basically cut a rectangular hole or a thick slit on the sides of the sheet okay and then <laughs> and then this slit here you have to fold down and how much you fold is roughly the thickness of the brim of your cap so if it's so your cap will be there you also need to cut these curved lines so this one okay how do you measure that one you just use the brim of your cap make a line or just cut it along the brim that will allow freedom of movement while wearing the face shield because if you don't that pointy part is gonna hit your chest and basically that's it You get your double clips, stick them in, Mama. <laughs> mommy's downstairs. Okay, okay, okay. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Mama! Mommy's downstairs. You want to go to mommy? <laughs> Daddy's making a video. So, you have two clips, and those clips attach to the side of your cap. And the other one attaches to the other side. You can fold this in. Or you can actually remove them if you want. So, this is how the face shield would look like. So, the arch should be almost flush against the brim of your cap. So let me put this on just to show you. <laughs> the kids anything. are laughing at me because I can't see through. <laughs> so, as you can see, the face shield covers the side of the face and all the way down. And that's it. That's your DIY face shield. So if you. Mama! Mommy's downstairs. <laughs> Mommy's downstairs. <laughs> so using our actual acetate sheet. You see these two clips. <laughs> you clip it to the side of your cap. And there you go. Other side.
Somebody bump the camera. Again. Again. <laughs> okay. So since I made that first one, I made the modification to the sheet. You see the original one just has the arch. But now I made another slit that you can put another clip through. All right, so you can use three clips. Okay, so how does that work? <laughs> so this middle clip clips to the brim, one clips to the side. And the other one clips to the other side. So this reinforces the plastic sheet, especially if there's uh, a breeze or high winds when you're like biking or, or on a motorcycle going to where you need to go. So that's it. You can actually remove the clips if you want to. And when then after using it, you can easily wash your cap, sanitize your plastic sheet. You can use soap and water or alcohol or any disinfectant you want to use. Let me wear this thing. Stop it. Ow. Okay, <laughs> I have the kids here so Hi. making this video gives me something to do and uh, well the kids are having fun while on quarantine all right everybody take care <laughs>